What's good with them people, man? He on to my issue partner, man. Who? He on to my issue partner. He on to my, that's who it is. <laughs> he on to my. Man, what's good with the people? How y'all doing on this Famous Folks Friday? You say Famous Folks Friday? What are you talking about, baby? Because uh, we going to get into it. But before we do that, what's good people like? He, he, ha, ha. He on to my wise, man. Man, he on to my Ken in the pen, man. All my folks incarcerated, all my folks who ain't, man. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on top of that thing, man. Keep that ear up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Did I say can in the pen, man? I don't know, but if I didn't, go get that stick up at the stores now, man. You can go and get some off of 76 MacArthur Giants liquors, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, man? 87 Hillside. Barbershop, you know what I'm talking about. They say somebody putting them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now you know, because I tell you every morning, but just in case you forgot, you know what I'm talking about? You come get them from me. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you go get the things from me. Sprinkler system on you. You know what I'm talking about? Also in stores now. Funk or die trying. You know what I'm talking about? Make sure you go get you one. But if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, man, you can go grab you one of them things off of Amazon. Make sure you grab you a hard bag. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-oh, what's that? Swing that finger, young man. Come on with it, man. He on talking about. Come on with it, man. He on talking about. A worldwide INC, man. He on talking about. A worldwide corporate. He on talking about. Real right, still got your hand. He on talking about worldwide. Hey, y'all, they gonna say, what does that mean? I'm gonna tell you. Hey, it means everybody, man. Everybody included. He on talking about. And Dugu, Mike, Lil Rue. Not Lil Rue. Lil Rue, cutthroat. Ta-ta the player. That's who comes next. Same thing, bro. All my folks incarcerated. All my folks who ain't, man. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, man. Everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Now, let's get through these disclaimers. But before we do that, my mama said, my mama always said, boy, breast and whiskers on you on TV. Y'all see how I made that invisible line thing all the way connected back, ain't it? Whoo! Gotta have faith, man. He on what I'm talking about. I mean, I almost forgot. Coffee Chronicles. He on what I'm talking about. Classy bros. He on what I'm talking about. They say ain't no smoke coming out your glass no more. And I'm gonna tell you bullshit. He on what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Like a uh, good brother like myself, man. I don't promote no drug uses. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Brother like myself, I don't promote no drug. Uh, sell it. You know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. Brother like myself, I don't promote no uh alcohol consumption. No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Don't take a sip of the sip. You know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Brother like myself, man. I don't promote no crime. No, no, no. Brother like myself. I don't promote no violence, no, 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 I don't promote no domestic violence, no, 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 keep your hands off them people, people, he know what I'm talking about, I, he know what I'm talking about, don't, he know what I'm talking about, promote, he know what I'm talking about, no, negativity, he no, man, no, man, no, be bad, I don't promote shit, he know what I'm talking about, they just gonna get to the bottom line of it. You talking to me, man? I don't promote shit. He don't talk about all I promote is y'all. Go ahead and do what you're gonna do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we got. You know what I'm talking about? Young ladies and gentlemen. He don't talk about, but a good brother like myself. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't prejudiced at all. He don't talk about, no, no, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the sexually different. No, no. You know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself. I ain't got nothing against the little people. No, no, no. Me, man, I ain't got no problems with nobody. He on talking about they was talking to me. Man, I just love me some everybody. He on talking about as a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. He on talking about bring that peace. He on talking about that joy. He on talking about that love. He on talking about that love. Back to the YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here, fuck with your partner, man. Alright, right, check it out, man. Come fuck with this nigga one time. He on talking about. Man, how y'all doing, man? On this, did I get y'all today, man? It's called Famous Folks Friday. You know what I'm talking about? Say Famous Folks Friday. What are we talking about, baby? Cause ah, uh, uh, we gonna get into it, man. Ah, uh, we gonna get into it. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, shout out to everybody who not a good kisser but good at kissing ass. <sighs> Put her there. <laughs> Say famous folks Friday, yeah, man. Uh, I woke up at a weird ass morning. Look, man, I ain't work out today either, man. But I ain't work out. I don't know. I ain't got no excuses. I just didn't work out. 
I was finna, look, I was finna do like y'all, man, and get into the reasons why I just didn't do it. You know what I'm talking about? Just didn't do it. I ain't got no excuses. Shame on me. You know what I'm talking about? That shit starts and ends with you. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? But I'm famous, folks, man, because I woke up early this morning and kind of fucked my sleep off. Now, that's what it, that's the truth. You know what I'm talking about? I woke up hella early because I went to sleep hella early. You know what I'm talking about? I woke up hella early, man, and I went and I seen something, man. And it'd be crazy when I come, uh, but besides, like, my folks, but I don't really watch a lot of shit. You get what I'm saying? I don't, man. I really don't watch a lot of shit. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, I came across something, man, and it was basically, our, uh, bro was on there. Basically saying some of the same shit bro be saying. And it just feel good that you're not the only one that think like that, bruh. You know what I'm talking about? When you see other people, because I ain't the only one to see this shit, bruh. I can't be. You feel me? Well, bruh was saying the same, same white shit, man. But on this Famous Folks Friday. First of all, I don't know what you consider famous. I don't know who you like and all that shit, man. But on this Famous Folks Friday, man, I'm going to tell you something that we do. And we do this shit way too much. And this is basically what Brett, like, basically what I be talking about, but I've seen Brett saying it. Bro, we sit here and we defer to people. You get what I'm saying? And we sit here and we act like there is just not no regular people in the world no more. We act like if you're not sitting up here with all this bullshit, all these forms and this bullshit ass change or something, it's like you don't know nothing, bro. You get what I'm saying? So you start looking up to these motherfuckers. You know what I'm talking about? All these motherfuckers you deem famous and all that shit right there. And on some real shit, bro. You can learn more from motherfuckers that's really around you. Coffee Chronicles. Classic roast, piping hot. And when I say say that, bro, you can learn whatever you need to learn from the motherfuckers around you, good or bad. You can see what motherfucker not to be, how you don't want to be. You can just see the type of people that you don't need to fuck with and the type of people you do, bro. But you can learn shit. But what we do now is we act like Jay-Z got to tell us something for us to learn something. Like Lil Wayne, like... like these the only people that's that's worthy of listening to or some shit like that. And that's how a lot of you fucked up. You feel me? That's how a lot of y'all fucked up. That's how they got a lot of motherfuckers working at McDonald's and Taco Bell and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Paying notes on the form. For real. They got your perception fucked up, bruh. They 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 killing your perception of just normal folk. They putting the idea in your head like you got to have all this shit to be somebody, bruh. And you don't. You feel what I'm saying? Now, that's cool if you out there and you doing the things that you need to do to go get some of that shit. If you can keep up with that shit, bruh, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm talking about? But a lot of times, we can't keep up with that shit. And that's what be wrong with that, bruh. That shit don't make no sense. And that's what they call living above your means. Because you running around out here trying to chase these famous folks. You know what I'm talking about? But these famous folks really getting the, uh, these famous folks really getting at it. You know what I'm talking about? They're in a the position to really get some pecans. And you don't be in that position, but you still want to look like you having all the pecans. I ain't never understood that. And, 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 and to this day, I never understand that. Because I just came from the era where you was, like, you used to high side like you didn't have it. You get what I'm saying? You usually, like, man, I'm broke. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you didn't want nobody to know you had it. You know what I'm talking about? You don't want nobody to know you had nothing. You get what I'm saying? Now you be lying to think you be wanting everybody to think that you that don't make no sense, bro. You just gonna cause more problems for yourself. And I ain't never got that. Because if you acting like you got some money, bro, motherfucker gonna they gonna want some of that shit either way it go, bro. They gonna come see you about some of that shit, you know what I'm talking about? Or they gonna uh they gonna be calling you asking you anyway. But I just don't get that. But on this famous folks Friday, man. That's the way we act, bruh. 
as a whole. That's the way we act, y'all. We act like you can't, uh, I don't know, you just, we just act like the famous people. We act like the famous people is the Bible now. That's all we are. It's some real shit. Because I swear to God, just me, myself. And I'm talking about a long time ago. I ain't even talking about the shit that's going on now. I have told a motherfucker something. And when I told them niggas that same shit, bro. Niggas looked at me like I was stupid, bro. Now the same motherfucker that, deemed, that, that, that they deemed famous came and basically said the same shit. Then it was a bright idea. That's when everybody gonna pay attention to it. And I've been watching this shit for a while. Like, you can say a rap, right, bruh? This is what killed my, uh... Hold on, y'all gotta get pissed more seconds on this. Cause it's starting to get, uh... It's still hot. I just don't want it to get warm. You know what I'm talking about? I gotta keep it hot. Famous Folks Friday, I'm going to tell you the first encounter I remember, I remember of this, man. You know what I'm talking about? Because I had wrote a rap. Now, y'all got to remember, I've been going to jail since the 90s, early 90s. I want to say late 80s, you know what I'm talking about? The, say, say the 89, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, but late 80s, uh, early, early uh, 90s, right? And I wrote a rap. I, I got to go find this rap too, man, in my head, I'm talking about. But i never forget because I had a barn there now. Remember, early 90s, I wrote this rap in Santa Rita. This before Juvenile, Lil Wayne, y'all even knew about them. But I said, the bar was like, uh, don't make me wake up on the wrong side of the bed and make this 38 slug slide through the side of your head. For real, that was, that was my bar, right? And I remember when I wrote this rap and everybody, they was just looking because when you clean niggas and try to make you feel like you not clean, you get what I'm saying? But I remember everybody, they was just acting like, and I came back years down the line. Now, he didn't say the exact same thing, but I heard Lil Wayne say something similar to that. And that was the hardest bar ever. You get what I'm saying, bro? And that was the first thing that killed my, uh, when I just started rapping for a minute. It was that shit right there. Because then I realized that, like, we wouldn't even really listen to the niggas no more. We was just uh, starting to adopt favorite people. So if this is my artist, whatever he say, uh, it's just hard. And that's not the case, bro. That's just not the case. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Because some niggas that make, that should be bullshit sometimes. You feel me I'm talking That should be bullshit like a motherfucker. But I remember when I spit that rap, niggas was looking at me or something like, hit man, tell me I have to go find that rap. You know what I'm talking about? And everybody was just looking at it like, you know what I'm talking about? It wasn't, I knew that shit was hard as a motherfucker then. I was whipping their ass, knocking nigga out his boots while his shoes still tied. <laughs> God damn, I was serving them way back then, you know what I'm talking about? But when I came, man, you know what I'm talking about? Now, my folks, everybody was like, ugh, you know what I'm talking about? Being killing them, bro. But all the other folks, they acting like, oh, man, that ain't nothing. Then Lil Wayne came out, said something similar, just like that, and... That's all you heard motherfuckers running around because he said it. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't the same effect when I said it. 
And I said it first. And that should be crazy, bro. And I'm telling you, that killed my first, like, desire. That's why I stopped rapping. I had stopped rapping for damn near 10 years, y'all. Wouldn't even shit pop up in my head. I thought I had lost it. Coffee Chronicle. Because really, that was like my hobby. That was really my, that's really my natural talent, though, man. For real. I really should be a big rapper somewhere around here. You know what I'm talking about? One of the people y'all consider famous, folks. <laughs> Coffee Chronicles, man. Cause you're just not gonna be able to find nobody harder than me, man. I wouldn't give a fuck how far you wide you wouldn't look. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what'd you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? You ain't gonna find it. But on this famous folks, bro, it goes just like that, man. You know what I'm talking about? We sit around, bro, and uh, we act like one of these motherfuckers that y'all deem famous got to tell us something for us to listen. We act like we got to sit around. And then what's so crazy is y'all let anybody get famous now. So y'all let the, 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 the most idiotic shit get famous. And then everybody, whoever famous for the 15 minutes, that's who get to make the rules at that time. So that's, that's going to be what we going to be talking about, the games we be playing and all that. Just like right now how they got a nigga playing police games and shit. They got a nigga playing Gossip Girl and all that old bullshit, bro. Because of the people who famous. The trend, you know what I'm talking about? And that's why them other people be picking who 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 could be famous and who can't. You get what I'm saying? Cause they ain't gonna let a motherfucker. Why you think of Scar X, dead presidents, all the motherfuckers will be on that real shit? Why you think they never let them get as big? Because you get big, start talking like that, they gonna put a label on you like a terrorist. You get what I'm saying? That's how they do us. Now that's how we do each other. You see how they'll put a label on your ass real quick? You come up here talking the truth, they'll, they'll start saying, nigga, that you against the United States government, bruh, just for telling the truth. They'll put a label on you, bruh. You feel me? They'll put a label on your ass, bruh. That shit crazy, man. Because they don't want you up here telling the truth, bruh. Why you think they let that shit spread wide, bruh? Why you think they let all that killing your folks and... You know what I'm talking about? We can kill each other. We can do all this shit. Why you know you get what I'm saying? They gonna spread that shit worldwide. Why you think they don't spread the motherfucking shit worldwide? Who be talking about stop killing? You know what I'm talking about? That's why they didn't like public enemy in them. Don't trust it. You know what I'm talking about? They don't really like nobody who gonna wake you up. They don't. They gonna put a label on them. They don't push that. They don't let that shit get out there to the masses like that. Coffee Chronicles. They don't. They control the masses with your favorite famous people. Coffee Chronicles. They gonna put a motherfucker up there that uh that's gonna spread, kill your own. They just the shit they gonna let get to you. There's gonna be some shit that they want you to follow. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? That's why they be hiding all that other shit. Any nigga with sense, bro. I'm telling you, that's the most dangerous. That's the most dangerous person to these motherfuckers. Somebody with sense and who has the ability to uh, get the ear of the masses. They ain't going to promote them like that, folks. They not. They going to promote them as uh, terrorists. You know what I'm talking about? They going to promote them as something bad. They going to have all this shit surrounding the motherfucker. They is. For you not to listen to them. Then they going to put somebody else in your face that you deem famous and he going to come up here and tell you to... Wear your clothes a little bit tired. He's going to tell you all that shit that's going to destroy you. That's why I be telling you it's up to you to decipher that shit. It's up to you to analyze that shit. But the way we is now with all these nerves, bruh, and it's, it, it ain't nothing but nerves, folks. You get what I'm saying? So it's easy to get the people now. It's easy to get the people now. Because I see some shit that's going around right now that I don't get it. And I don't even want to speak on that because it ain't my business. You get what I'm saying? But it just don't make no sense to me. It don't. And then what don't make no sense to me, and this is off subject a little bit on these famous folks, what don't make no sense to me is how when you're going through something in your life, and everybody get to comment on what you did, 
Everybody get to tell you, you either stupid, you this, you that. I, I don't get that. Even though you live in your life. And that's how you know these niggas is nerds. That's how you know these niggas is bitches. And that's how you know these niggas is, uh... That's the way we going. We gonna get more into niggas being like bitches. Niggas coming up here and giving their expert opinion that ain't lived outside yet. And that's what's wrong with you niggas. And I'm just specifically talking about the niggas right here. Because you niggas want to act like the bitch. You niggas been waiting to act like the bitch. Coffee Chronicles. And now y'all using these famous folks. To be cool to act like the bitch. Coffee Chronicles. Because that's what you're doing. And I'm telling you now. You ain't listening to me. <clears throat> But y'all think that shit gonna cut off when this camera cut off in the name, bruh. And I just trust me. Trust me. You're gonna put yourself in a position in real life where you're gonna let something come out your mouth and you're gonna get yourself in a world of trouble. And at that point, and at that moment, that might teach you a lesson about shutting your motherfucking mouth. It might not. You know what I'm talking about? But you keep doing that shit, and I guarantee you, one day you're gonna put yourself in a motherfucking position. Where something gonna bad gonna happen to you, folks. And you're gonna realize at that moment you should have just shut the fuck up. For real. For real. Cause on this famous folks Friday, a good thing y'all because see y'all get to watching these famous people, and then y'all get to trying to mimic how they fuck with it and shit. You feel what I'm saying? And y'all don't get a lot of this shit is just staged. It's just staged for your dumb ass. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> but y'all watching these people just walk around treating people shitty and talking shit to people and doing all this shit. And you feel like you watching your, fav your favorite famous folk and you think this is the way to act in real life, bruh. And you're going to cause yourself some trouble, folks. Y'all mimicking this bullshit, bruh. Be yourself, nigga. You should be the only famous folk you need. You should be the most famous motherfucker you know. But I don't get it. I don't get how y'all think, bro. But you're going to see living life, man, uh, deferring to other people and looking up. And we used to call it jocking. You know what I'm talking about? All this dick riding, excessive dick riding and all that shit. That shit ain't going to get you nowhere, bro. That shit really makes you look like a clown, bro. That shit make you look like a bitch. That's jocking. That's what it make you look like, bro. You got to realize when you own a nigga bumper like that and you all up in a nigga face like a groupie bitch, bruh, a nigga didn't already analyze that you some kind of fan or something, bruh. That's why I don't really get that. I understand being a fan and liking somebody or something, but I don't understand that, uh, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, I, nigga, you going to get a picture with me, if anything. I ain't taking pictures uh, with people. People take pictures with me. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. You know what I'm talking about? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? I told you about this a long time ago when niggas used to be running to the windows in jail to go see the nervous bitch. You know what I'm saying? You always talk. You got to give me just every day. Give us something about jail. Don't you? you know what I'm talking about? I told you, nigga, this shit is my life. I spent a good part of my life in jail. Go back to the story. You know what I'm talking about? Niggas run up every time they do P.O. call, you know what I'm talking about? And you know the bitches that work on the street, they just got on the tightest scrubs for whatever reason. You know you're coming to the penitentiary, Coffee Chronicles. It's the only a player that detects something like that. It's a reason for all that, you know what I'm talking about? You know, and the reason might be one of these niggas you work with. It might be. That might be one of the reasons, you know what I'm talking about? But the only other reason is that he don't talk about up in here like a nigga like me. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey, that's the only other reason. It's two options. You know what I'm talking about? Either or. You know what I'm talking about? But everybody used to be running up to the window. I used to be all over there roasting them niggas. You know what I'm talking about? I'm at the window too, though. I used to be roasting them niggas. I mean, all you niggas that came over here, nigga, to go look at this bitch. You know what I'm talking about? That's how you know you niggas, uh, you niggas out there tricking and ran way over here. Nigga, you know what I'm talking about? 
He was in the middle of a spade game. Nigga, y'all over there playing P-Knuckle Domino's chess and shit. All of a sudden, everybody, niggas, only two people up in here take pills, man. Whole line long. You niggas just up in there asking for a medical slip. You know what I'm talking about? To get a chance to peek at the bitch. So one nigga said one day, Nigga, you over here just like us trying to look at the bitch. I said, nope, fella, that's where you wrong. I'm over here giving the bitch a chance to look at me. <laughs> I ain't come over here and look at the bitch. <coughs> I came over here and let the bitch look at me. You know what I'm talking about? And that's the difference. I don't think like that. No, I don't think I like that at all. And you shouldn't. But I can't tell you that. I don't know what you should and you shouldn't do. You know what I'm talking about? Because I can't tell you nothing, man. You got to find out for yourself. That's all I can tell you. But uh, how you think about yourself, bro, that's going to that's, that's gonna have a lot to do with your turn out in this world. And it's just not good idolizing people, folks. It's not. It's not good putting people over yourself. It's not, bruh. Because you're doing yourself a disservice. That's how you lose belief in yourself, bruh. And you sit around, fuck around, and go into depression and shit. That's how you do it. Because you're always sitting around idolizing other people. And half of the time, bruh, you be idolizing a motherfucker lie. Y'all sitting over here idolizing a picture and wishing, man. A lot of times that shit don't even be the truth, bruh. Shit don't be the truth, bruh. People just out here selling products, folks. Entertainment, bruh. That's all people trying to do. Coffee Chronicles. That's why you shouldn't be so in tune with anybody other than your motherfucking self, folks. On some real shit. It's just a bad habit, especially as a man. You know what I'm talking about? This is just my belief. You ain't got to agree with me. But to me, it's just a bad habit, bruh, to always looking up to shit, idolizing shit. You get what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with giving people their credit or appreciating something somebody do, bruh. But I'm sitting around talking about, like, you want to be like them and this is your idol and all that little boy shit. I don't understand that shit, bruh. I ain't. I ain't. And that shit ain't good as a man, bruh. That's how you become a nigga like an ego or something, nigga. That's how you become a minion, nigga. That's how you get sent to the stove. With all that shit right there, bruh. You gotta have a great belief in yourself, folks. You just do. And I can't preach that more. I'm always gonna preach that, bruh. You gotta believe in yourself. But you gotta know. You can't have no fake belief either. You gotta know that you that motherfucker. And once you know that, bro, you wouldn't give a fuck. You that motherfucker. You wouldn't even give a fuck about damn one of these other motherfuckers around you, man. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. Hey, what you say, bro? Old lady. You know what I'm talking about? They say, bro, why you wasn't in the Java Walkie? You know what I'm talking about? I was in jail. You know what I'm talking about? Man, gone. Get... <laughs> they sent me a letter, though. <laughs> oh. They asked me, did they want to join, did I want to join that gang? I said, no, nah, but you can join mine, man. I'm going to see if I can get the job of walkies to do a routine, you know what I'm talking about? End it like this with the worldwide, man. Watch out for it. But on this, on this famous folks Friday, folks, I don't know. You should be the most famous motherfucker you know. Keep on letting these people put shit in front of your face and trying it if you want to, folks. You can spend your life looking at another motherfucker talking about if they did it, it's cool. You can do all that shit if you want to, folks. I'm just going to say, man, on this Famous Folks Friday, you should be the most famous motherfucker you know, bruh. You should have your own lead to follow, bruh, whatever which way it take you, because it ain't always going to be good. Now, I know you see all these pictures and everybody just come out here like we having this shit, you feel what I'm saying? And I, I know this shit look good on the radio, bruh. You gotta live real life, folks. Better follow your, you better come up with a plan, follow your own motherfucking lead, find out which way you wanna go.
Keep letting these motherfuckers lead you and follow a motherfucker if you want to. I'd rather know, or I'd rather not know where I'm going myself, but I'm just walking, instead of following another motherfucker who don't know where he's going. I'd rather not just know where I'm going by myself, folks. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And just find out for myself, and then following some other niggas who don't know where they're going. No. Nah. I'd rather get lost by myself, folks. I ain't gonna let nobody lead me to loss. To loss, you know what I'm talking about? Just like, remember the land of the lost world, whatever, back in the day, they had everybody followed the captain and they got their ass stuck <laughs> over there in outer space somewhere. Dinosaurs and shit, they still can't get back to Earth, you know what I'm talking about? You can follow a motherfucker if you want to, folks. I'm telling you, bro. Follow these motherfuckers if you want to. You see how they already got you. They got you confident coming up here acting like the bitch. They got you confident giving your expert opinion on somebody else's life. They got you confident and laughing and teasing people. Oh, this shit funny. Like, we ain't went through that shit. But somehow it just don't be funny when we going through it. And what's funny, when we going through that shit and if somebody laugh at it, we gonna say they haters, we gonna put a label on them. Oh, they haters, they this, they that. <clears throat> But we continuously do this shit every day. And this is the motherfucking games we play. Because this is what we sit around and watch the famous folks do. Ain't it? Every time you turn on your phone, they just got all your favorite people arguing with each other, don't they? You know what I'm talking about? Changing your concept. Talk about somebody got uh, maxed out and uh, dragged and uh, all these words that was normally used to be used when you got your ass whooped physically. They didn't put all this shit on top of opinions now. You can let them change your mind if you want to, folks. You know what I'm talking about? That's the same shit they doing with the solid and the real nigga and all this, bro. They gonna put a real nigga in front of your face that's gossiping like the bitch. So now everybody want, they finna follow this real nigga lead. They gonna put the snitch in front of your face and tell you how he told. Trying to give you confidence in doing the same thing. Man, don't listen to these people. Because despite what they say in the end, bro, all you're going to have in this motherfucker is your name. Is your name good or bad? Even when they talking, your name either good or your name bad. Fuck what they talking about and all that shit. So your name either good or bad, bro, where you go. You know what I'm talking about? I always had a good name. However you chop it up. Because a motherfucker is what a motherfucker does. But what do I know? Only you could prevent forest fires, man. And with that one right there, if you don't remember nothing else, man, always remember it don't cost nothing, man. Just show a little bit of that love. You know what I'm talking about?